What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Ronin. Now Ronin, you do not come on page one of this season's battle pass. Here's a legendary outfit. So without further ado guys, let's get the review started. So Ronin. Ronin, similar to that of Shanta, is one of the first skins you do unlock in page one of this season's battle pass. Both of them have these very cool selectable styles, but Ronin is more of a versatile skin since he does have different color schemes and different clothing he, you do add as you complete your battle pass. Now for the video, we are going to be focusing on Ronin on the base form and for the backing of his choice, it's going to be the Crimson Crest again with the default other style. Now the Crimson Crest itself, the backing looks very cool. It does remind me of the Black Swan band, especially because it does have that little thing in the center, but it is all red. It is a little bit bulky for my liking, but it still has this very cool selectable style that you could upgrade later on. Now the Ronin skin itself is just basically a ninja, and you could really see the tower just by the way he carries himself and himself and the clothing he does have. But is he worth unlocking? Sooner or later you're gonna have to unlock this outfit, and I would actually go for it later. The skin itself is identical to a lot of other skins we have received in the game and I just don't think Ronin actually stands out enough to actually be one of those desired skins during this battle pass. So what's my final rating for Ronin? I'm gonna have to give Ronin a 6 out of 10. If it was in the item shop I would just say to skip him. He does have very cool versatile edit styles and color schemes but I just it doesn't gravitate towards me. There is other skins in the season, mainly Spider-Man, that are actually one of the better ones we have received. But Ronin and Janta, they are basically tier 1s and I do think that they deserve to be in that tier. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. Now for our first combination with Ronin with the default letter style, we are going to be pairing him up with the Snake Eyes Katana. Now the outfit itself does have a katana you do have as a harvesting tool, so having the snake eyes katana with that black cover on it just matches really well. Then you do have that red on the cover itself that goes really well with the robotic limbs he does have. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be keeping the whole black and red color scheme, so we're going to be going with the mantle blades. The mantle blades similar to that of the back thing just fit really well just because of the aesthetic it does have. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the glitch in the system. The glitch in the system control is a control that you did unlock during season 9 of chapter 1, and even to this day, it's a very solid control. Then for the glide, we're going to be going with the blady bird. Now, the blady bird itself does have a katana it does hold as you're gliding to the battlefield, and it just looks very cool, and the theme and color scheme matches really well. Then for the ride, we're going to be going with the sigil red. Now, the sigil red itself does have this very cool animation on it that does have that red going across the weapon wrap. It does look very cool. It does have silver, black, and red, which goes correspondingly with the character. And then for the next combination with Ronin with the default edit style, we are going to be pairing it up with the spectra spine. Now for the spectra spine, I'm going to be going with the orange edit style since it does match really well with the red. The aesthetics of this just goes perfectly together just because it does have those robotic legs that goes perfectly with the back lead. Then for the harvesting tool, we're gonna be going with the God Slayer. Now the God Slayer is just one of those harvesting tools that does stand out. It is made of all metal, so it goes really well with the uh, legs it does have, and it just stands out. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the Soulfall. The Soulfall glider itself is just souls he does collect. It could be something that he actually collects with the blade, which looks very cool and it just adds to the story. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the Falcon. The Falcon glider itself is just a glider that does have a Falcon holding you as you descend to the battlefield, and it just goes really well because of the katana it is holding. Then for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the Doom Echo. Now the Doom Echo is a bandage of wrap that does have red and black, which goes correspondingly with the character again. Then for our last combination with Ronin with the default letter style, we are going to be pairing it up with the Scarlet Sai. Now the Scarlet Sai themselves just goes really well with the whole theme. The curse schemes of the Sai themselves matches really well with the red aesthetics and it's just a match made in heaven. Then for the harvesting tool, we are going to be going with the Serrated Steel Blades. Now the Serrated Steel Blades themselves actually look very cool. It is two metallic blades you do have, it does have this red pattern on both blades which looks very cool and corresponds really well with the tattoos it does have and curse scheme. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Zip Ribbons. Now the Zip Ribbons control itself is a control that does have black and white, is very universal and effective with any combination. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Equilibrium. I actually do like the Equilibrium glider, especially with this whole theme and curse game. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Insightful. Now the Insightful wrap itself is just an all simple red, white and black color scheme for wrap, which is very simple but effective with this combination. Now for the honorable mentions with Ronin, you do want to pair him up with anything that does have black. Anything with red or anything that does have to do with swords or weapon is going to look really good with this outfit.
Now for the back wing, the Crimson Crest. Now we're going to be pairing up the Crimson Crest with the Griff G. Now I absolutely love this combination. The Griff G himself is reactive, so each time you do like level up or go across the map, he is going to be turning redder and powering him up. And in the final form, he actually looks amazing with this backlink. For the harvesting tool, we're going to go with the Jingle Bang. Now I do like a harvesting tool that does match really well with the gold and red, and the Jingle Bang got me covered. The red aesthetics with gold and even the power up it does glow up matches perfectly with Griff G. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Fireflies. Now the Fireflies control with the lanterns themselves and the red ribbon just match perfectly with the gold aesthetics and the red. Then for the glare, we're going to be going with the Royal Dragon. The Royal Dragon itself is just a Chinese New Year's uh, representation of a dragon and it just matches really well with the combination of colors. Then for the ride, we're going to be going with the Primate Space Program. Now the Primate Space Program itself, you were able to obtain it during last season and it just matches really well. The gold aesthetics with the red just goes perfectly with the outfit. Then for our next combination with the Crimson Crest, we're going to be pairing it up with the Ice King. Now the Ice King, we're going to be going with the red air style since it looks amazing. The red horns, the red glow he does have and everything about it just being pretty cool. I do like the all black color scheme he does have because it just makes the backlink actually stand out. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Crimson Scythe. The Crimson Scythe is a very simple harvesting tool that does have red and black which goes perfectly with this combination. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Target Acquired. The Target Acquired is just this very futuristic control you do have on both hands and feet which goes perfectly with the skin itself. Then for the glare, we're going to be going with the Downshift. The Downshift glare itself is a chapter 1 glare design. It does have a red contrast as you're descending to the battlefield which actually complements the outfit. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Knighted. Now for the Knighted, we wanted to go for a wrap that does have this black and red, and the Knighted got us covered. The simple design of it, and then just the mere color scheme, goes really well with this skin. Then for our last combination with the Crimson Crest, we're going to be pairing it up with a Bursa. Now either or, you could go with the male counterpart of Versa, and I just think that Versa matches better. Now the Cybernetic CG does have everything about it, and the red and black color scheme just makes the backlink stand out. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the No Claws. Now we're going to be taking into consideration that the outfit itself is very futuristic. The No Claws itself is a futuristic ladder, especially with the air style we are using, it just matches really well. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. Now the Spectral Essence is just a wind control on both hands and feet, which goes really well with the white aesthetics. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Cyclone. The Cyclone is a futuristic bicycle that you are using as a glider and it just matches really well with the red exterior. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the World Dominator. Now the World Dominator wrap itself it looks very cool. It does have this red glow on it, the black aesthetics goes really well with the whole futuristic look. Now for the honorable mention with the Crimson Crest, you do want to pair it up with anything that does have red. Anything with like a black background, it's going to look really good or a combination of both, it's going to look amazing with this backlink. Now those are the 3 combinations I did find for Ronin and the 3 combinations I did find for the back name itself, the Crimson Crest. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos for your fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, 2 D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code in the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and I really help this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media in Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.